In this video, we're going to be looking at highlighting and how we can use it to help us memorize the Bible more accurately. So we can see here, I've opened up Galatians chapter 1, verse 23. They only were hearing it said, He who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. Okay, as we're reciting this verse, there are a number of things that could happen. First of all, we could forget a word. As we're reciting, we could forget a word or a phrase entirely, or even as we go on, we might forget a whole verse entirely when we're reciting the chapter. Um, another thing that could happen is we could say the wrong word or phrase. We could say the words in the wrong order. We could perhaps be unsure. But get it right in the end. I know with this one, this happens to me occasionally. I will be reciting a verse and I'll have to stop and start again a few times and I'll get it right, but I've had to say it a few times. Uh, and one other thing that can happen so we could forget a word or a phrase, we could say the wrong word, we could say the words in the wrong order, or we could just forget what comes next in a sentence or verse or passage. Okay, so there are a number of different things that can happen when we're trying to recite the Bible, and particularly when we're trying to recite passages. And so one thing we can do is to use highlighting to help emphasize each of these different mistakes so that when we're reviewing our verses, we can take note of the mistakes that we're making so if, let's start with this first one. If we forget a word or a phrase, well, let's imagine that we forget the word were. If we keep forgetting the word were, then maybe we want to highlight that, and we're going to highlight that red. And you can see how I do that. I select the word, and in the context menu, I go to the highlight section and choose red. You can also press Control alt one to do that. Or perhaps... I'm always forgetting a word or a phrase, and so I'll highlight it red. Or perhaps I always say the wrong word. So maybe instead of saying he who used to persecute us, I was saying he who was persecuting. So used to, I was saying was instead of used to. So I might highlight that orange. Because I'm saying the wrong thing, I'm not um, forgetting a word, I'm actually saying the wrong thing. Or maybe I say the words in the wrong order. So rather than saying, is now preaching, I might say, is preaching now. And so I'm getting the words in the wrong order. I'm getting the right words, but the wrong order. So I might choose a different color to highlight that sort of phenomenon. Or maybe I might be unsure about what word comes next. And particularly if we are trying to memorize a whole passage of the Bible, maybe we can't remember the first word of a verse. So that would be a fairly common example. So maybe we want to highlight that a particular color as well. Or maybe we are unsure about the words in a particular phrase, but we get it right in the end. So maybe this phrase in here, we're hearing it said, we are not sure about, not very confident, but we got it right when we checked our answer or when we checked the actual verse. So there are many different things that could happen, and we can use highlighting, in particular different colors of highlighting, to indicate these different common mistakes as we're reciting or reviewing our verses. What we can actually do in RemNote, though, is instead of just highlighting individual words or phrases, we can actually highlight entire lines. And I'll show you how to do this by indicating the color coding that I've used here. So if we forget a word or a phrase, we said that that was going to be red. So I'm going to type forward slash red and type in red press enter if we forget a word or a phrase we're going to color it red if we say the wrong word or the wrong phrase we're going to color it orange now this time rather than typing in orange i'm going to show you how to get there through the menu you scroll down the menu till you get to highlight press enter scroll down to orange press enter and you'll notice in both of these two cases that when we use the slash command it highlights the entire line or the entire rim 
whereas when we select text, the highlighting only applies to the text that we selected. Okay, so if we say the words in the wrong order, well, we colored that green. So we're getting the right words, just the wrong order. If we are unsure about the words, but we get it correct in the end, well, we were coloring that blue. And last of all, if we forgot what word comes next, then we are going to color that purple. All right, now you don't have to use those colors. You can use any particular color that you want. Uh, but RemNote does only have six highlighting co colors currently. All right, so if we zoom out to a chapter level, what we're going to see is a whole chapter. And if we've highlighted multiple verses, like I have here, we'll very quickly get an overview of the types of mistakes we're making most commonly and where we're making them. So where we need to focus our practice on. And in particular, uh, if we zoom back into this verse and we practice all the rem, so there's only going to be two cards here, practice all cards. Uh, this is a forwards card, so we've got to recite the verse. So it's not going to help us here. But if we have the backwards card where we can see the verse text and we're asked to remember what the verse number is, well, we know it's 23 because we, we just saw it, saw it and it actually says it up here. But if we look at the text before we recite the verse number being 23, we can actually practice while this flashcard is here all these other words that are highlighted or phrases that are highlighted, just to make sure we get them right next time. Okay. I'll add one other thing that I mentioned uh, in previous video where we looked at portals. If you do have a verse that is in multiple locations, so let's uh, open up our notes on Bible memory document. If we do have a verse that is in multiple locations, and one of them is in a portal. So we've got verse two, Galatians one verse two is in a portal here. If we highlight a word, cause we're constantly getting it wrong. Um, so constantly getting it wrong is uh, saying the wrong word was orange. We're gonna click that. Then when we go back to memorizing Galatians, we're going to see that the highlight continued through. Even though we made the highlight in a portal in a different document, the highlight was persistent through to the original document. So that is also useful as well. All right, well, I hope you found some useful ideas. If you have any other ideas for how you can use highlighting for Bible memory within RemNote, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.